To determine the typicity of a pair of related substituents, what we're going to do is run a thought experiment wherein we replace each of the two substituents in question with something else. Let's take, for example, propane and look at the two hydrogens on the center carbon. If we replace each of them with a deuterium, so as not to mess up the conjugal prelet protocols, we see that the two resulting structures are a chiral and therefore identical. This means that HA and HB are homotopic, which means that they will react identically in uh, chemical reactions and will show up identically in terms of spectroscopy. Let's look at a different molecule, ethane. Similar to propane, but with a different sort of symmetry to it. We're going to run the same thought experiment, replace HA and HB with deuteriums, and then look at the relationship between the two molecules we've made. Notice that we've in, uh, introduced stereochemistry at this carbon and at this carbon and that the two centers are mirror images of each other. This means that the two molecules are enantiomers, which in turn means that HA and HB are enantiotopic. They will react identically with achiral reagents and differently with chiral reagents. They're also identical spectroscopically. What happens to topicity if our structure already has a stereocenter? Well, let's look at R2-butanol at the hydrogens at carbon-3. We're going to do the same thing, replace each of them with a deuterium, and we'll notice that our resulting structures are diastereomers, because we've introduced new stereochemistry at carbon number 3, but the stereochemistry at carbon number 2 has stayed the same. This means that HA and HB are diastereotopic, which means that they will react completely differently in chemical reactions and will show up completely differently in spectroscopy. They will couple to each other as well as differently to their neighboring hydrogens.